Walmart has just started selling gold and silver coins through their website. Should you buy through them? No. I'll tell you why in this video. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. This is a gold coin. This is a silver coin. You can see the two of them next to each other. The silver coin's actually a little bit larger. They both weigh the same amount, but silver is less dense than gold, so it's a larger coin. Both of these are starting to be offered at Walmart. When I first heard about that, I thought, well, that's kind of interesting, another way of possibly buying things. I have bought precious metals in the past, obviously. That's how I have them in my hands right now. And one thing that you run into when you're buying precious metals online is that there is oftentimes, in fact, I've always found there to be a difference between using a credit card to buy something or uh, doing like an EFT, like an automatic transfer directly out of your banking account. The credit card sale is always more expensive because, you know, the company has to pay fees, so they pass them along to you. It's always my preference to put things on credit card, not because I don't like to pay my bills. I never hold a balance on my credit cards, but credit cards that I use always gives me uh, cash back on whatever my purchases are. So if I buy something for $100 and I get 3% back on, you know, it's a cash back thing, that item only costs me $97. But that's not the case if things that you're buying from a precious metals dealer uh, end up having a surcharge built into them. If that's the case, then you end up paying more. So I've always done direct uh, transfers directly from my bank account, but I checked on the Walmart website and there was no difference between the prices. You could buy with a credit card, you could buy with, a, well actually I don't even know if they do allow you to do a direct transfer from your bank to pay for a Walmart purchase. But I was uh, enticed by the idea that I could potentially buy the coin for about the same amount of money on the Walmart website as I could on, I've been using Appmex uh, for you know buying things in the past. It was about the same price. It was a little bit more on the Walmart website, but the amount of cash back that I would get by buying with using a credit card would easily cover that difference. So I started going through the purchase just to try to you know feel it out and see if I want to do it. I don't know if right now is necessarily the right time for me to do that purchase, but I wanted to just kind of go through the whole process to see if there were any surprises. And there was taxes. In the state in which I live, there are sales taxes that are charged whenever you buy things online. And that was applying at the Walmart checkout. And the price of a silver coin is over $2,000 and the taxes, you can imagine, are pretty hefty on $2,000 of purchase online. Versus if I were to buy it from the precious metal dealers themselves, I guess because you're buying money, I mean, you're essentially buying a coin, uh, they don't charge any taxes when you go directly through the precious metal dealer themselves. So while buying things through Walmart does give you the opportunity to use a credit card and you may get cash back on that, the amount of taxes that I would be paying here in my state are way more than what I would get back in cash back by buying it through my credit card. So I just wanna put that out. If you're new to precious metals buying, if hearing uh, the news about Walmart offering these things has got you interested in it, uh, that's good because I think it's a great way of kind of holding on to your wealth uh, while the, uh, the value of a lot of my dollar bills in my wallet have gone down and down and down over the past couple of years, uh, you know, this is worth exactly the same amount as it used to be. I could trade this for a certain number of loaves of bread years ago, and today I can trade for just about the same number of loaves of bread. So it's a great way of holding on to your wealth. A lot of times people will think, well, the value of my gold went up, but that's not really the way that it works. Gold is kind of a fixed value and every other commodity, you know, or, uh, currency uh, kind of floats up against that. So it's not that the gold became more valuable, it's just that the dollars in my wallet became less valuable. So it takes more of them to buy the gold. So it's a great opportunity given that Walmart is offering this to people to get excited about it, but I wouldn't suggest going directly through the Walmart website unless you live in a state where you don't have to pay any sales tax because sales tax on thousands of dollars of gold or silver coins, that's an awful lot of money. Before you go, I wanted to give you one last chance to check out this. this is actually the first uh, precious metals coin that I ever started with. It was given to me by somebody many years ago, and it's really special to me. Uh, it's developed this really beautiful patina over the surface of it. I love the way that it looks, and uh, 
this is something that I would always hold on to. It's, you know, if someone pays you in a dollar bill, <laughs> you know, you're very unlikely to just kind of hold on to that dollar bill forever. I know sometimes people like frame a dollar bill, like the first dollar bill that came into their, their business, but there's something special about precious metals. Uh, you know, there's a reason that people value them. Now, there are all sorts of industrial applications for gold and silver, and you know, that's one of the things that gives them value. But there's an intrinsic value, I think, that just as human beings, we like to name things, we like to fight, and we like shiny things. And I gotta say that I'm susceptible to it as well. Uh, but it's just, I wanted to share this with you guys because uh, you know this was my very first one. It's got this rainbow patina on it. And uh, you know when you get your very first silver or gold coin, you know hold that in a special place because I think it, it keeps, there's a special place in your heart for the first one you ever get. That's it, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video, here's another one that I think you might like. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people on the right hand side of your screen. They help to support all the work that I do here over at Patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and get your name added to the list, the link's below.